got some Dollarama great buys here. Uh, we'll start off with a few things. These are from several different Dollaramas. Um, these could technically be included in my Blu-ray updates, but I'm just going to throw them in here because I pretty much have picked them up before, but I saw them was like, you know what, for the $3 I'm going to grab another copy. And first one up is Room 237. Next, Apocalypse. And then finally, Dorian Gray. Yes, some cheap Blu-rays there. And then the main thing that we picked up, we ended up at a Dollarama and I wasn't going to get these, and then Leslie was interested in them as well. So we decided, you know what, we're just going to get everything they had there. And that's um, something that I wasn't planning on collecting, but I, I really, well, I wasn't, I wasn't. So I'll, I'll clue you in. The, the Cars movies, the Disney Pixar car movies, I've always really liked their toys. Like, I thought it was brilliant. You know, you put out Disney Pixar movie about talking cars. What do you get to do? You get to release your own line of dinky cars, essentially, right? Um, so move over Hot Wheels, here comes Disney, right? Um, and they released this line uh, of, of their toys here, which I just absolutely love. It is the Precision Series, um, which, they're, you know, if you didn't already know, the cars from Cars are actually, you know, they're, they're metal with, with good... One of the reasons why I like them, the, the action on them is really good. Like, they did, like, even for the regular toys, really, really good job. Um, so what these come in, they come in A, in this nice packaging. So we got Guido and Luigi. Each set comes with this little kind of, like, license plate key tag. Um, and inside, this is collector's packaging. You can just open it up. This is a display case that you can display them and put them, set them up type thing, uh without having to keep this big bulky packaging type thing which is really really nice um, so I have no idea what the toys inside are kind of like but I'm guessing they're pretty awesome they look like they're screwed in or something like that from the bottom I'm not sure um, but yeah so they had a whole bunch of these so as soon as Leslie said you know what these are awesome I want them well, that was it. We bought every, you know, one they had up there. Leslie got two. Two of these are hers. This one's one of them. Flo. Flo there with the showgirl as her license plate. You can see the hood pops open there. And this one Sarah really likes. This is Sarge. Sarge also, his hood opens up. His license plate is four... 41 World War II, or WW2. Uh, this one, Sarah didn't like at all, um, which is funny because he, he's a main character. They haven't actually seen the Cars movies. They didn't like them. Uh, apparently they watched, started watching the first one and were got bored, so they turned it off. Or left or something, I don't know. Maybe it was at a party or something, but uh, Matter. Mater, Matter, Mater. This is A113 for his license plate. He's actually quite large in comparison to some of the other ones. And then, of course, you got to have the main character, Lightning McQueen. Again, his hood opens up there. And he doesn't actually have a, um, a li regular license plate. He is a race car, so technically he doesn't have one, but it has a, his 95 there. And then this one here is the other one that Leslie got, and that's Fillmore, the VW Love Bus, which has 51237 uh, as his license, or her license plate, his license plate, I think it's his, yeah, his, and then at another store, I managed to find this one, Sally, the Porsche, unfortunately, this one, they, they were, they were hanging these up, so as you can see, they tried to get the tag there and of course it came off so they just attached one of their own tags um, so unfortunately they had two of these um, the other box was even even worse condition um, and I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have gone with that because this one was better condition but it had a little scratch here um, and I you know I mean technically you could take them out I don't think I'll ever take them out of their package but who knows I don't know maybe anything's possible it depends I do see that they have a whole bunch of like play sets to go with them so anything's possible so and then on top of those while we we're there I couldn't believe I came across these were probably should have been at a French 
language area dollarama but they came up at one of ours which is awesome and it's three dvds for um the lost city of gold the mysterious city of gold if you want les mysterious city d'or um which is a classic classic uh, uh anime television show um, a lot of people didn't see it in north america even though it did have a i don't even think these have a Yeah, they do not have English language on them. They just have French. I'll have to pop them in to see if that's the way. Because um, they are a France production, as far as I know. But there was, because I remember watching it, there was an English, there is an English trans dub of this this uh, anime. Uh, and it was released in North America, but because it was more popular, you know, Quebec, uh, France, I think Spain is, it's huge in Spain as well. Um, in fact, they, they, uh, there's a second season, which I don't know. It may have been aired briefly here in North America or at, in English North America. Um, but, you know, they've all seen it over there. And I, I don't believe I've ever seen it. So I picked these up simply because, you know, like I, this anime is absolutely amazing. Even though it's in French, you know, I can understand French. So it's not too big of a deal. But it's more of a, hey, this is a, a reminder that, uh, yeah, you've got to track this down and get it somewhere somehow so um yeah if you know of this on blu-ray or even a full complete series on dvd with english language tracks with region a or region one or all region comment down below love to hear from you um link if possible uh to be fantastic so um yeah it's funny this is the uh, special edition number six and then you'll notice these ones are are different so this one these ones are after 30 years, the adventure continues. This is the, actually from the second season. Odd, eh? Uh, season two, and these are... They have three episodes each, I think. Two or three episodes each. Uh, either way, they're just over an hour long. So I think it's three episodes. This one here is also three episodes, but I believe this is from the first season. Uh, so this is episode 16, 17, 18. So, I mean, uh, I'll have to look and see what's going on with that because uh yeah it is definitely something i would like to have but i do want the english language version uh if possible um on it i would also like it with you know the french and i think spanish was the other language that it was in and the subtitles um but you know what i will take what i can get uh you know currently but yeah stoked got some toys got some cars toys Got some Blu-rays, got some DVDs, all from Dollarama, all for cheap, cheap, cheap. So, yeah, comment down below. Love to hear from you. What do you think about what I grabbed? And again, if you know anything about the mysterious cities of gold, uh, city of gold, not cities, city of gold, <laughs> uh, comment down below. Uh, again, I would love to track this stuff down and grab it if I can. So, um, thanks for watching. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.